I apologize, my phone died. <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say is that a cunning, crafty, lying, deceiving individual who's been around for a long, long time, if you use your mind and you think, do you think you'd be able to devise a plan that would want to deter people from the truth and the light to come? Absolutely. So what better plan than to go in and sow a seed and call it, let's call this seed the Antichrist. Now, if I'm wrong, which I know I'm not, that would make me in hedonist Antichrist going to hell, right? No. Not right. Spirit of love would never send somebody to hell. Never. Think about that for one second. Would you send your child to hell? Oh, ah, oh, you know what sends them to hell? They choose to go there. Did they? Did they choose that? That goes back to the old God doesn't want robots. But he squeezes you into a position to serve him or go to hell. It doesn't make any sense. Does it frustrate the out of me? Yeah, absolutely it does. Because it's a lie from the enemy. And the liar is being exposed by the alchemist. And that alchemist's name it's my delight. I'm proud to say, I'm going toe to toe with the enemy, and I'm not afraid. It's probably one of the reasons why I was chosen. Anyway, Lucifer knows who I am. The enemy knows who I am, and he knows what I'm capable of, and he knows what I'm going to do to his kingdom. A kingdom divided against itself will not stand. Think about that. What a cunning way to sneak in and sow something like that. This was revealed to me by spirit. That's all I know. It's truth what I tell you. And you know, I, I sat, I've had this video in my head and heart for a few weeks now. I was going to post one a month ago. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. Wasn't ready though. Wasn't ready. I, now I'm ready, because now I stand in my power and authority given to me by the Most High, All the Mighty Spirit. So, let me share something with you. A cunning, crafty, spiritual being who's wise and knowledgeable, what better way for him to try, and let me put the emphasis on try, to stop God's plan. Like that? Oh, that's a carrot cake. I'm about to tear that up. <laughs> well, listen. He snuck in and he planted that seed about the Antichrist. Beautiful. Had a lot of people believe in it, including myself, for a long time. But this just isn't the truth. It's not true. Kingdom divided against itself won't stand. Now, the devil didn't um, create the Antichrist as if it was himself because that would be divining himself. He created it saying that it was what? If you don't believe, if you believe in the Antichrist, then what? Then you don't believe in what? Or who? Jesus. Now, I want you to go through some of your scriptural quotes that you all have learned, or most or some have learned. And I want you to start speaking them. And then I want you to listen with your spiritual ear. And what I've come to find out about everything that, not everything, let me take that back, some of the things that did not resonate on the inside with my spirit and with the spirit of the Almighty, 
I started questioning those things. Not all the words that I questioned. And there is a lot, like I said, a lot of truth to a lot of that. But this truth, or so-called truth, is actually false. Jesus didn't ever claim to be God in the flesh. Think about that. It doesn't even make any sense. First of all, I and my Father are one. Now, I don't want to get into all this. He said, she said, the Bible says this, this, and that right now. That's not what I'm here to do. What I'm here to do is to first get all those who are willing to stop listening to what they've been taught and start questioning what they've been taught. Go inward asking God, asking universe, spirit, whomever you serve to show you the truth. That's all I'm asking for you to do and spirit will do the rest, he said. Now, I'm telling you, I'm not saying this lightly, but it has been revealed to me in its entire and in its truth that Eshua was an amazing prophet who brought lots and lots of wisdom and knowledge for us as spiritual beings to gain access to a realm that was a, we were supposed to have access to a long, long time ago. But listen, this goes back to God can't make you do anything. We have free will. This is where freedom came in. The free will comes in. We allow these things. I'll say it flat out the truth. We allowed these things to happen. But it's okay. Because that's why that's why we're here. We're gonna bring balance back to truth and justice. And for all those who think that just because you didn't get caught doing something, I assure you, it's going to be brought to the light. And you will be judged accordingly, according to your heart. Now, if you have repented or, you know, forgiven yourself, you know, went within and healed, you don't have an issue to worry about. But here's the thing. It's too late for those who are in um, the justice system, I'll say, for you, because you have been held to an utmost highest standard that cannot be rationaled. It cannot. This title, when you accepted it, you accepted it, probably most of you, with a pure heart. And then you allowed greed, corruption, and all sorts of things that I won't utter on this uh, broadcast um, to see into your heart and then it defiled you and with this defiling comes your judgment and karma rightfully so I share a very special bond with one of those uh, altrosis acts of child molestation Ring any bells? Yeah, I was a victim. And I'm not ashamed to say that. Because it wasn't, it's nobody's fault. Okay? Except for the perpetrator and the demonic force behind him. But listen, there's healing, there's clarity, and there's growth. You come in your way. If you heed the words that I speak to you, go in. Go within. Don't put anything off on anyone else. Spirit will give you guidance. If you're saying to yourself, I don't know how to go within, it starts with a confession of, you don't know how. That's, that's how simple and easy it is, folks. To gain access to the love of the Father, Spirit of Light. That's how easy it is. Just be honest. He's going to show you exactly what you need to do. Then he's going to take you on a journey. And sometimes this journey is not going to be so easy. Don't give up. Know that you have 
the authority and power from the Most High that's back in you. It always has been. He's never left your side. That is one truth out of the Bible. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Sometimes it feels like it. But that is to produce the growth needed in your life. Now, I'm not going to say, don't, don't get me wrong, that's not... For anyone that is a victim, that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. If you're a victim, you're a victim because of the enemy. You're a victim because of the hearts of man. And that's where free will comes in. Free will. We have a choice. Some of us make really bad mistakes. Choices. But we can all be forgiven for anything and everything. Know this. Anything and everything that you may have done, you are loved through it if you go within. You got to go on that journey, man. You got to heal. And you can't truly love anyone until you really know how to love yourself. And that was shown to me by spirit. And I'm telling you, guys, you have so much to look forward to. Earth angels and all those that are receiving the wealth at this time, I'll say one more thing about that. Enjoy yourself. It's yours. It's a blessing. But remember, there's going to come a time when Spirit's going to call on you and he's going to need, um, he's not going to need, he's going to want your obedience. Uh, excuse me, Spirit's going to want your obedience in a certain thing that he has or a Spirit has planned to, um, to bring about in this world to help those that are mis misfortunate and um, homeless, people that are under bondage and things like that. He needs you. He's look. He's uh, he's counting on you. So he's not gonna make you. Spirit's not gonna make you do anything. Remember that. Free will. He will never take that away from you. You always have free will. But I'm telling you, there's nothing like having to know that you are loved by the Creator and by the Almighty. There's no greater feeling, guys. I promise you this. And that's where I get my joy and my strength. We're all soldiers. Boot up, strap up. It's time for war, people. I love you. And until next time, thanks for joining me on my journey with my joy. Peace.